Welcome to my side of town. Welcome back. Did I feel good? After talking to Jiggy Jr. a while ago, I'm here with uh, a very pretty lady who also belongs to the uh, media industry. As a matter of fact, she started her job in the media, Sasibu Daily News, marketing and, and sales and marketing. Then she moved to the Freeman Daily for two years, or TV5 first as a news reporter, and uh, then Freeman Daily. And now she is with Cebu Grand Hotel again, uh, doing sales and marketing. So please welcome the pretty Noreen Zermis. Hi. Thank you, sir, for having me. <laughs> um, hello. Hello, everyone. Did I introduce you correctly? I, I hope yes. I got it right. Okay, okay. Let's start with, um, you said to me off camera that you're a BS Bio graduate. Yes, sir. Then you shifted to AB English and you yes. landed in the print media eventually after graduation. So how did that happen? Um, actually, I didn't start with media right away. I first, my first job was I was a college registrar, an assistant college, college registrar in my aunt's school. And then after that, I, I was into research. Uh, I was hired by Makapagal and Associates. I did research for Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, USAID, and um, also for uh, Plan International. And then I'm proud to share that one of my researches um, is in the University of Washington Archives. Wow. Yes, wow. So from there, you went to Cebu Daily News or were there other jobs before this? Uh, I was invited by then the HR of Cebu Daily News to, to do a temp job actually because um, the, the head of marketing and the assistant marketing there was on maternity leave. Okay. And then after that, I, I, I did like a year there to, uh, and then on call writer also because they were short of writers. Mm -hmm. And then TV5 came. Oh. First, I was hired to be the regional head for public service. Okay. And then since I'm really very eager to learn, I try, I would uh, sit beside my mentor there, see si Ramil Paikan, oh, yeah. every afternoon before the, all the, the <laughs> stories would come in. Then I would watch him edit um, what's this news items to exactly Cebuano ones or yes, so. Well. And I didn't know how to write in Cebuano. Yeah, that's what I was about yes. to ask you because uh, your orientation, AB English, was, and then you had to say I was writing in English. And yeah, then. you were writing in English and then suddenly TV5 came, BAM! Cebuano. Yeah. So was the transition hard? It was so hard. In fact, I would listen to DYHP back then, kanang mga drama nila in the afternoon, just so I could get used to to talking in, in perfect Bisaya and then translating it to, into writing. And then Sir Ramil encouraged, encouraged me to write in, in, oh. in Bisaya. And then he would let me assist him in editing the news items. That's how I learned about, yeah, that's how I was able to write oh. in Bisaya. What, 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 was there a time that you also uh, anchored uh, the newscast? Yes, um, I was anchoring the news bulletin uh, every 10 a.m. and 3 p.m. alternate with Dennis Tanok. Oh, Dennis, yeah. Yes. Where's the guy now? He's with Freeman. <laughs> oh, good. Um, because I was asking you that because I myself, when I started anchoring the news, because I was into FM for a long time, and that time FM was FM, English FM, not the FM that we have nowadays, like the, the ones I was talking about to Jiggy uh, a while ago. So the, 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 the problem was uh, you, had, you had a pong, and then you, you, you wanted to do the Cebuano newscast, so sometimes you had the tendency to pronounce a Cebuano word that you thought it's an English word. Yes. Like me, for example, human. I pronounce it human. True. Right? So, how long have you been with uh, TV5? Two years. Uh, like I've said, I started as public service coordinator for Region 7. And then after that, I was promoted to desk editor. Mm -hmm. And then I be uh, after that, I was made into an assistant assistant producer mm. for the news and then I became executive producer and then the news director. Did you also have a radio program there? Because TV5 that time has an FM radio, I guess. No. Okay. I, they thought that I was better yeah. on television. Yeah. Because of your, you know, visual. 
because television is supposed to be a perfect marriage of audio and video. And I think, well, not I think, but I'm sure you have that. But radio is also a good training for you to become more spontaneous. Anyway, uh, two years at TV5, and then sad to say, things didn't look good uh, eventually. So, mm -hmm. but still, did you ever miss doing, uh, covering the news beats? In, Always. Uh, like, the f that first morning after I left TV5, I missed the sound of my, my, my phone beeping. Like, because when I was still doing news desk um, editing, they don't have boundaries. I mean, Manila would call you any time of the day if, they, if they want news from you. Mm. Like, I, I could vividly remember someone would call me, someone called me from Manila at 2 a.m. and yes. she told me, Mom, may nabuntis daw dyan ng duwende. I mean, it, <laughs> it's so absurd, but then you have to, to listen to, you, you have to attend to this to this uh, question but, and you yourself you didn't know even if, if that story true. exists because we're supposed to be 24 hours 7 yeah. they would call you in the middle of the night asking for a, a an update of uh, a certain you know uh, news that came out although it's still unconfirmed but what can you do you have yeah. to give that that's least. part of the job I signed uh, it for yeah. I signed yeah. up for it yeah. and then like and then you really miss a lot of special occasions with your family um, Remember when Gaisano South got burned yeah. it was during Christmas and then yeah. um, the Gihulngan earthquake that was during Valentine's yes, I mean, yes. You really have to put your family aside during this. So as a, as a mother, uh, you have a son now, uh, which is about how, 10 years Ten. old? Okay. So when you were in the, in the news um, platform at that time, how did you, how did you juggle your time? What, especially time, quality time with your, with your son? Um, the Yaya always. Okay. The, she always gave like the best of kanang kuan, kanang assistance to me. That's why um, I felt sad when she left because, of course, she got married. Mm. That's why she helped me a lot. And, of course, the father of my baby. Yeah. Now you're in the hotel business uh, doing sales and marketing. Uh, we have Christmas, Christmas is around the corner, and then we have Sinulog and I've, I've been talking to guys in the hotel industry and to them, uh, according to them, that kung kanus ama supposed to be you spend time with your family on, on holidays like Christmas and, and other, you know, like Sinulo, for example, mm -hmm. you cannot because you have to stay in the hotel because that's the busiest season uh, uh, as far as the work is concerned. Yes, like our schedule for December is already full. Most of our function rooms are already booked. Um, and this we have to attend to like um, inquiries right now. It's coming in on a daily basis okay. and almost like more than 30 inquiries. And you have to attend to each one of them. And then um, give them service, make them, make them choose you over all the other competitors. There are a lot. Mm -hmm. And it's really a tough time to be in this business right now here in Cebu. Like almost every month, another hotel yeah. is open. Yes. Sprouting like mushrooms, yes. all over Cebu, all over Metro Cebu, so all over Cebu City. Marketing our property is really tough. You need to make them like believe in your brand. So now that you are in Cebu Grand Hotel, what is your typical day like? Uh, unlike before, when you were with TV Five or in Freeman or in Cebu Daily News now. Um, I can say it's pretty routinary. Oh. Like, I wake up in the morning, I go to the office, you know what's going to happen, you know what you, do, you need to do, and then you go home, and then repeat, do it the next day. And like, when I was still with news, you don't know what's going to happen. Though you have a deadline, like, um, all stories should be in by 12, but who knows, there might be breaking, nani kalit diha mubuto, kapitulyo, or whatever, the city hall, you can never tell, and you cannot just predict what's next and that's why you will always be on your toes and always be ready to deploy like um, especially when I became the news director and I was handling like the whole newsroom too much responsibility and news wasn't my orientation so like crying was the next thing I could think of especially when most of my workmates back then were older than me no. and they know the, the, the business more than I do yeah. okay most of them came from other networks yes, yes. And some of these people, if not, uh, yeah, most of these people were my colleagues back then at the mm -hmm. Giant Network. In but a way. that happened when, when Ramil left, oh, oh. and then I was like left 
do what's this to handle all of his duties. Was it a cultural was shock a, for you? No. A big, it was a big pair of shoes to fill in. Yeah. Really. Um, there were times that I don't even, I can't visit the parlor. I, that's when I tried <laughs> to learn cutting my own hair, dyeing my own hair. <laughs> you have to, to take on the, the, the responsibilities. But still you miss those things. Every day. Yeah. Give it a chance. chance. Give it a chance again to, to be in the media. Would you, would you, would you take it? Would you grab the opportunity? Um, of course. Okay. Okay. Maybe let's talk about this in some other time with the proper forum. Yes, yeah. So, Noreen, I couldn't thank you enough for for thank you for, also, for joining thank you. me and, and for congratulations. going out of your way. I know you still have a work, but uh, I pull you out of your work area just to be no, with I us here. No, I took the the half day off. Oh, for good, this one. Good, good. So I'd like to thank you enough. Ladies and gentlemen, Noreen Turmis here in my side of town and more to come right after the break. Thank you. Thank you.